speeches. You know, you, you, can, you can learn all the theory about how to give a great speech, but you really have to get up and practice it. And you can practice in front of a mirror, but trust me, it's different when you practice in front of people. And Toastmasters is this great, as I said, safe environment community for practicing speaking. So generally, every Toastmasters meeting we have, we have people give up, and they do impromptu speeches, which we'll come on to later, and they give prepared speeches, where normally, as we saw, between five and seven minutes. And now it gives me our great pleasure to introduce Kirti, who's come along from a different club, the Grosvenor Square Speakers Club, and she's also the author of the book, Befriend Your Mind, and she's going to give a prepared speech between five and seven minutes. So over to you. conversation with your colleague, your friend, and your family? Have you ever wanted to say something, share it, but you didn't feel like you had the right or should speak up? Were you ever afraid to say something and was afraid to be don't want you to answer me the question, but I'd like to invite you into my journey, how Toastmasters gave me my confidence back. And I'd like you to reflect on are you ready to be part of this conversation? When I joined Toastmasters, I only had two goals in mind. One, I wanted to meet people and the second thing, gain confidence to teach classes again. When I arrived at my Grove, at Grosvenor Square Speakers Club, I felt like a disheartened prayer. But I was scared to share because I may act confident, but I felt like a fraud. Now, jack of all trades, master of none. But actually, I'm not jack. It, I'm Kirti. I'm a tapestry of diversity. I am Dutch. I'm Indian. I speak five to seven languages, and none of them are my first language. <laughs> I'm an author, an artist, a photographer, an entrepreneurial thinker, a yoga teacher, and also an emotional intelligence strategist. I think I covered it. But when I looked around me, there were people who knew exactly what they were doing. They had that skill, and here I was struggling to package my skills together. Marketing for me is a pain in the But don't get me wrong, I have my share of successes. I'm from an island, Kurasa, shaping the yoga industry all the way into the medical environment and changing thousands of lives, I was a legend. But it never removed the feeling of being a fraud. So I left the island and traveled to explore this big world but no one wanted to hire me. I couldn't get a job. I wasn't suitable. And getting the name yoga teacher out there didn't come either. I was challenged. And for a long time, <coughs> I took a back seat. It wasn't until I met a gentleman at a Toastmaster meeting in Madrid that my renewed sense of hope came back. This gentleman went from stammering off stage 
to rocking his speech. I was jealous by his enthusiasm. <laughs> I wanted what he had. But due to family circumstances, I flew back to Curaçao, and for two years, it took me two years to join Toastmasters. And when I joined Toastmasters, it not only gave me the possibility to speak and get feedback, but I also took on a leadership role as the vice president of public relations. Now this is a tricky role. It's not about marketing, as many think. And I was given the opportunity to create the foundation for the forthcoming committee. So what I hadn't anticipated was, I actually got a space to practice and explore my communication style in the leadership. That's not all. When I look back and I reflect, Toastmaster has taken me beyond my imagination. The PR role gave me access to a spotlight to speak. But it also, most importantly, gave me opportunity to use the tapestry of my diversity into leadership. If you ask me, in a nutshell, I learned to hustle globally. <laughs> it took me six years to overcome my failure. The accomplishment arrived. Last November, I gave my first workshop at the Toastmasters Division Conference on Digital Footprint and, pers and Revisit Personal Branding. I also got the possibility to mentor a new club at the Foreign Office. But what excites me the most is that I finally could give my company, iLaunch, a new voice, a new challenge. You see, my experience in Toastmasters allowed me to see an insight how to fill a gap in the market using my emotional intelligence skills as well as public relations to inspire and encourage non-native speakers like me to become leaders, to use their tapestry of diversity, their experience, their strengths, and even their failures as a source to develop leadership in this digital world. You see, change starts in the way you communicate. And that's how you create a change in solutions. Toastmasters offered me a way to reshape my confidence supporting environment for leadership and public speaking. So I ask you, when you go back to that question, your voice matters. It's a valuable voice. Instead of having it in your head, will you have the confidence to share it out and find a way? I leave you with Jacqueline Woodson. <coughs> Diversity is about all of us. About all of us having the courage to walk through <coughs> this world together. Are you gonna be part of this?